Okay, good afternoon, good evening, actually, and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? I hope that you guys are doing okay on tonight, okay? Shout out to my sub, Grayface, okay? Grayface is definitely the bomb, as all you are, okay? All of my subscribers, when they see stuff, they be reaching out to me, child, because I was just getting ready to start cleaning up my kitchen tonight because I went to the grocery store late and to get me some... um tomatoes and ended up just doing a whole lot of shopping I ain't need and um you know, I was getting ready to clean up when um because I had done I did a members live and Grayface happened to send me a message shout out to him um letting me know about the situation uh, of black youngsters black youngster had a case that was dropped after a few years TMZ reports Black Youngster gun case dismissed three years after Texas arrest. It says Black Youngster checking off a legal issue that's dogged him for years. A judge just dismissed his gun case in Dallas court. The rapper was charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon stemming from a 2020 arrest, but the case was also dismissed this week. But the case was dismissed this week, according to documents obtained by TMZ. Black Youngster's lawyer, Carl A. Moore, tells us his client's happy to put this case behind him after dealing with it for nearly four years, says, saying he feels the DA's office did the right thing by dropping the charge and justice has finally prevailed. Okay, Youngster, who who more tells us turned down a pretrial diversion program before prosecutors ended up dropping the case was arrested in October, 2020 during a routine traffic stop. He was riding shotgun in the car and cops said they found a handgun tucked between his legs. TMZ obtained video of, of youngster interacting with the cops and am amicably chatting with the officers even asking how much the van they picked him up cost. It was Youngster's second gun-related arrest in many years. September 2019, police say Youngster claimed a bag containing two semi-automatic pistols in his car belonged to him, and he said had prohibited ammunition with him. I don't mean no harm, but I, we already know that TMZ people... In order for your stuff to be on TMZ, because uh, TMZ is not following Black Youngster like that. Um, why they got him on TMZ out of all people? Nobody talks about Black Youngster except for us, you know, about you know his involvement in the Young Dog situation. Um, I, I believe some of his people wanted that to be known. Okay, it's kind of like putting out some good press about him right before the trial. Okay, um, yeah, that's what's going on there. Uh, let's let's look at this video. I think we've seen this before. Okay, well, I don't want to play the video from TMC because oh, let me stop it. I don't I don't want nothing TMZ got to show. <laughs> I forgot how they do it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Period. 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 That's what my daddy used to say. Period. I don't want to see it. Period. Period. Um, my dad was saying period before it was actually a fad. Period. When he get mad at me. Um, but hey, I it's weird. Okay, I find this weird. Um, that they want to, you know, that TMZ is even covering this okay i find it really weird um hey but i don't think anything is coincidental no main medias have been covering black youngster at all okay no main medias have i, I see all of all what's that 
all hip hop covered it. Okay. That his um they wanted people to know that those charges had been dropped and that he had only had one other charge before. What are they trying to do? Put out there that he's um it's promotion, I guess. I reckon that's what it is. It's promotion. They're trying to put some good press out about black youngster. Okay. Now, I find it weird that, that anybody ever even covered this, but hey. I, I don't think that it's coincidental, you know, um, that they covered it. I believe that his people called the main the main medias and they wanted that out. You know, um, that's that's kind of like putting the good press out there, putting his name back out there, and maybe over trying to overshadow, you know, um this upcoming trial, you know. Um, I don't look at this. This was dropped against him. He only had one other charge, which was basically nothing and all of that. Um, I know how they do it, but black youngster, you ain't going to be able to get out of this one, love. You just, you ain't going to be able to do it. You should not have participated in it. Okay. I wish somebody had told him um, not to give up his life to appease another man. I've been saying, and it's just been in my spirit, what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And every time I think about any of them, that's what comes to my mind. And a lot of them definitely have lost their, lost their souls and are about to lose their freedom. I mean, this right here ain't going to pay the, paying the media to put this out to let everyone know or to try to, you know, shed good light on him and to let everybody know, you know, um, that he's only had one other charge since then. Of course, we we already know he had not been in and out of jail like that. And I don't think he's going to handle jail too good, you know. Um, but, hey, I don't believe that this is coincidental. Uh, it's been going on three years. They wanted to go ahead and drop it. I'm trying to figure out how a case, a gun case, go on for three years. That's just weird within itself. But he hurry up and got that thing uh, closed out before the Young Dolls trial start. Um, I wonder if they started back giving him them visitations that they was giving him before. Um, maybe so. Okay. And uh he wanted to be known that all that little stuff was dropped. So I don't know. But we know the trial is coming up. And I did um, kind of, I, I broke something in my members. I guess I'll go on in because I know it'd be people, sis, in the bushes that I had gotten word that one camera is going to be allowed in the courtroom. And per the judge, this came from the judge's mouth. She's going to allow one camera in the courtroom and let all of the other medias feed off of that to keep all of the media frenzy out. OK, so I put it in the members. I I, might, I just went ahead and said it because I know the other bloggers being my members and they was going to put it out as if they knew. But it came from me. Y'all know they hate to say where I, I it came from me first, but it did come from me first because I was the one that was told. You know, by the sources they say I don't have. That came straight out of the judge's chamber. But who am I? Okay. Anyways, you guys, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. I just wanted to, you know, put that out there about Black Youngster. And I know people say she be tooting her own horns. If y'all knew half the stuff that these people did, it makes their skin crawl for me to say the stuff that I say on here. Even though they be wanting my information. And so the stuff that they do, I, I have to throw it back in their faces. That's not being arrogant. Okay. That's just letting them know I see you. Okay. I see you. Okay. And it's all good. Just say where you get your information from. Okay. It ain't going to hurt you. But anyways, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via cash.